Okay, so here's some exam style questions for the internet of everything. I want you to pause the video and give each one of these questions a go. Each one of these questions is worth two marks. Okay, we're now going to go through it one by one. I really want you to have given this a go first. So what is the internet of everything? So the best way to describe it would be the following. You could say it refers to connected devices or the connected aspect of things which include people, processes, data and objects. You could say it as of let's just delete this. It refers to the interconnectedness of all things, people, processes, and data. Any of those is acceptable for what is the internet of everything. The second question is, what is the, or sorry, how does the internet of everything differ from the internet of things? So the internet of everything differs from the Internet of Things in that it refers to the interconnected of all things whilst the Internet of Things refers to the interconnectedness of physical devices which uses sensors and all the other technologies such as the CP, the processor built into it, such as we've already mentioned sensors, such as a processor, we said that, um, software but a process is the embedded system and communication technologies, such as an IP version 6 capability. Okay, nice and easy. Can you give an example of how the Internet of Everything is used in a specific industry? So I'm going to use healthcare as my example. So one example is in healthcare where wearable devices can track a patient's vital signs and transmit the data to healthcare provider in real time, leading to more efficient and personalized care. So think about like a smartwatch, tracking your um, vitals, sending it to a doctor constantly. Pretty useful. Okay, what are some of the benefits of the internet of everything? Well, we've got increasing efficiency, such as speeding up manufacturing, etc. Um, so, the speed of development, cost savings, replacing humans with machines at times, and improved decision making because we're taking the human out of it a lot of the time. It's going to be fast, it's going to be rapid, it's going to be consistent in making choices, not fallible to human nature. But what are the potential risks and challenges with the Internet of Everything? Some potential risks and challenges associated with the Internet of Everything include data privacy and security, makes sense, and the need for frameworks, regulatory frameworks, to ensure responsible and ethical use of technology. So it's to basically prevent companies like Google listening in on everything we do and sending and sharing the data with Facebook and, send, and then giving it to advertising companies to then give you personalized adverts. It needs to be not only some security and data privacy to stop hackers, which is very important as well, but also on top of all of this, there needs to be a way to stop um, these companies from selling your information which covers regulatory frameworks and covers ethical use of technology. Remember, ethics is not about right or wrong, it's those grey areas, so to speak. It's not breaking a law, but it's things which these companies do, which, in all honesty, could be seen as dodgy.